With the patient positioning system known as the PPS, simple becomes simply amazing. The patient positioning system is a state-of-the-art, revolutionary device which increases patient and staff safety and increases efficiency while administering an epidural or spinal. Patient positioning is vital for preventing problems and increasing the epidural effectiveness. With minimal adjustments, the PPS is able to position the patient in less than a minute. You can position the patient in the proper position, which frees up staff and allows you to avoid having family members awkwardly hold the patient. The PPS holds patients safely and securely, limiting patient movement with secure points for the patient's face, arms, and feet. The PPS is C-arm friendly, easily manipulated by staff, easily rolls into position, has a small footprint, and quickly moves from patient to patient. Before using the PPS, make sure it has been cleaned using standard hospital grade disinfectant. Make sure the footrest is in the lowest position and that the locking casters are functioning properly. By pressing down on the foot pedals and locking all four casters, slightly push on the PPS to determine that it does not move. To avoid cross-contamination and to maintain your limited lifetime warranty, you are required to use the latex-free disposable face rest covers for each procedure. Step one, have the patient sit safely and securely on the edge of the bed, OR table, or gurney facing the PPS. Roll the PPS into place between the patient's legs. Push down on both foot pedals, locking all four casters. Do not let the patient lean into the PPS until the casters are locked. Step two, adjust the PPS up or down to be slightly below the top of the patient's head. The ideal positioning is for the patient's face to fit slightly lower into the face rest cradle. There are no face rest adjustments. One size fits all. Step three, invite the patient to lean into the PPS and ask them to fit comfortably into the face rest. Ask the patient to place their arms on the gel armrest. To obtain optimum position, the arms need to be elevated. Step four, place your hand on the footrest handle. By lifting up and pushing back, adjust the footrest up or down so the patient's legs are resting squarely on both sides. Sliding the tray forward allows the footrest to lock in place. There should be pressure on the bottom of the feet to help open the dura. Congratulations, you have successfully positioned your patient. After the procedure is complete and the PPS is no longer required and when the patient is stable, have the patient return to a proper sitting position. Before unlocking the casters and moving the PPS, be sure the patient is in a proper sitting position. Ensure that the patient understands that you'll be removing the PPS and that it will no longer be holding them. Unlock the casters by lifting up on both foot pedals. Roll the PPS away from the patient.